Hello everyone and welcome to Connors of Speed Tier 3. My name is Thomas, next to me is Lewis and we're here in Brazil for the Brazilian Grand Prix. Lewis, good to have you in the commentary box. As always, how are you doing? How are you doing, mate? Yeah, all well, good, thank you. Uh, welcome, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, as, uh, as you say, Thomas, it is Brazil today. And uh, yeah, as always, very much looking forward to it. Yes, this is like one of the the Brazil race, the Grand Prix, is one of the first races I like legit watched as a kid with the battle between Massa and Hamilton. Was the first time I, that was the first season I was like really involved into Formula One. I watched it before when my, my dad was watching it, but then like you don't really know what was going on because it was like 2005, so it was, it was like four. Um, but yeah, with the Hamilton and Massa was 2008? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so then I was 7. So that was like the first time where I could actually like all give it a place and think about, oh yeah, this is happening. Um, and yeah, it always gives me flashbacks to that race or between Hamilton and Massa, but also the incredible comeback from uh, Verstappen, of course. I can't not say that. In a Brazilian Grand Prix, so uh, yeah, a lot of good memories and league racing as well. To be honest, uh, always interesting and good races. A lot of overtaking opportunities. Strategy wise, always an interesting one. You don't know what the weather is going to do, although we do know it for this session. But uh, yeah, really looking forward to it. What about you, Lewis? Yeah, um, I must say that's funny. I was 14 when that 2008. Uh, <laughs> big so I was very much aware of the stakes in that. And I, I've watched F1 since '99, so I remember Brazilian Grand Prix like 2001 when one Pablo Montoya, basically in his second race, dived into the scene of F1. Yeah, I was born start. in 2001. Uh, <laughs> oh, you missed! You just you missed it, mate. It was a cracker of a race. Um, yeah, I was only eight then, but I remember it. It was Montoya dived down the inside of Schumacher. So I was like, oh my god, someone does that to Schumacher. Schumacher normally does that to everyone else. And then Montoya was on course to win the race before a certain Joss Verstappen, while getting laps, decided to go into the back of Montoya and take his rear wing off. Well, so that, I'm old enough to sick. remember watching Max's dad race for like a yeah. good few seasons. But that's uh, sick because the same happened to Max Yeah. Uh, later on, uh, yeah, with Ocon in 2019 yeah. or something like that. That's, uh, I think was it, was it 19 it was or 18? Yeah, 18, something 18, like that, 18. yeah. Yeah, it was 2018, but yeah, it's funny how things turn round, where Sick. the difference was that Joss Verstappen took Montoya out of the race completely, and, and himself. Yeah. Um, he was going into, turn, after the center rest, it's, it's the corner after the pit lane exit. Um, and yeah, he just let uh, Montoya through, came back, sweep, came, you know, on the inside, came back onto the racing line and the braking, and yeah, just went into the back of him. Um, that was a famous one. Um, Coulthard, David Coulthard, the legend that is Coulthard, made a move uh, passing Michael Schumacher while using a back marker, very much Spa-esque with Hacken and Zonta and Schumacher into turn one. Um, so that was a really good race. Um, other Brazilian robberies, 2006, Michael Schumacher's final, well, was, we thought at the time, his final Grand Prix. Um, had a puncher at the beginning of the lap. Uh, the beginning of the race and still managed to recover to finish I think it was fifth or fourth in the end um, didn't get the championship off Alonso but it was an amazing drive so yeah it, Brazil always has very entertaining races even last season's race you know Hamilton's come back from starting dead last in the sprint race to getting True. to uh, to fifth think, on track and then tenth starting grid and winning um, but yeah the, the Verstappen a race that comes to mind for me is uh, well, the 2019 race, the 2016 race in the wet conditions. Um, there's a hell, a hell of a lot of highlights in the real life. But around here, we've got some cracking races on Racing League. Normally weather involved, but fortunately there is no changeable conditions today. So we can't rely on that. But it's a very short lap. And if you have got it, oh, I just saw a Haas go off there. But he's all right. He hasn't hit the barrier. Um... That was Rem and Skipper. But uh, if you uh, if you have the pace around here, it just flows so nicely. It's so oh, it's lovely. Um, 
very long DRS zone. Very good for, uh, for overtaking. Um, so, uh, yeah. Oh, safety cars, it's average, I'd say. I don't think it's a safety car mental track. But it can happen. So, yeah, from, uh, from what I can remember as well, it's hard on the ERS battery. So yes. you can't, like, go all the way out on your battery in the first couple of laps because it will hurt you towards the end of the race if there is not a safety car coming out. So, uh, yeah, people need to watch out for that. Exactly. And the other thing as well is, uh, because of the low braking, but um, strategy-wise, it's soft to medium on a stretch or, um, or medium to soft. Um, so but that, those soft tyres do wear away rapidly. So there is always the temptation of doing the undercut round here. Um, and then you will have a significant, significant benefit initially and it's whether or not you can keep the medium tyre going. Some people may go hard, but uh, nowadays with the, this type of game, I, I very much doubt it. We got Pipe Tech's already retired. Uh, yeah, I'm currently on board with El Prince, but he invalidated. But he's trying to get himself inside of the 10 on medium, so that's an interesting strategy. We've got Raymond on mediums as well. He was probably the most unlucky guy this season, uh, last time round at Japan, where he got overtaken by Hilly literally like 100 meters before the end of the race. So, yeah, he was devastated about that, but he took it pretty well, to be honest. Um, so yeah, let's see what El Prentice can do on his second run on the mediums as he almost lost it coming out of turn one. Uh, or these Senna S's, I should say. Uh, but yeah, I don't think this is going to be a capable left to put himself inside the top ten. Um, let's see, people now slowly start to get their second stint in. So we will be looking out for the top runners to see if they can improve on their previous lap. So Dan is on mediums. He's doing a running run on the medium. Or his fast slap rather is on the medium tire. And I think he's is he out again? Oh Prentice. We saw it, we were on board, he completely lost it. And that is his qualifying session over. He still got does he have all four tires? No, never mind. He's missing the left rear tire. It is his end of the qualifying session. Austin's about to head towards the line. First time lap. It's 107.666. The devil himself is up to P6. And Ely improves to a 107.1. Jay Prentice is up to P3. Let's see what it is IMAX doing. Oh, he runs wide coming out of... Oh, turn 7. Invalidation for him. Catch your Silva, he is still in the pits. Is Ruck on an improvement? No, he's not. Saigate, is he looking to improve? I think he is, but he is down on his time through sector 1. Let's see how good his sector 2 is. So I get now coming out of the last turn, all full throttle through these left handers, but I think he comes into the pits, yes he does, so it's not going to be an improvement for Saigate. Let's see, Spot, who is still yet to set a lap time, is coming towards the end of Sector 2. Let me get to the dashboard, because he put in a 34.1, which is... around the pace of Marina and Jay Prentice so let's see what he can do as he comes across the line P10 so he lost a lot through sector 1 and sector 3 it was a good sector 2 though but still some improvement need to be done as Camping Ducks improves or at least sets his first lap time 107.5 P9 look how close the field is by the way this is amazing yes yeah, so and this is Brazil for you this is one the closest qualities because of the low the small track and it's not 
really, other than that middle sector, I think, is where you make or break it. Um, and as people sometimes maybe having a setup more for the top speed, a little bit of sacrifice in that middle sector. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be super close. If you can gain a tenth, that's a big, big difference around this track compared to other circuits like Singapore, for example, where it's very long, very technical. You can gain a lot of time and lose a lot of time throughout the uh, lap. Here comes Ramon. He's on a set of sorts and improving by a lot. And he puts himself up into P3, 107.3, together with a lot of people, 1,000 of a second in front of Sneaky Tom. Sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so bad. <laughs> no, I know. I love it. Cringe. The wizard is trying to improve, though. He is half a tenth down on his previous lap time, though, so he needs to improve with sector 3. Is there the option of improving? No, there's not, because he goes into the pits. So he remains in P8 for now, as we've got four and a half minutes left in this qualifying session. Everyone now preparing to probably go out for one more time. As this track, it's on the edge. If you go out quick enough at the start of the session, I think you could get four runs in. But I don't think you have the tires, unless you... Uh, go for the mediums in the first place, and then after that... The soft tires, but um, yeah, I think people are waiting now to get their final run in. Who is out on track? Max, but he's not going to improve. Remo goes into the pits. Is Rock going to improve? I think he is, though. I think he just started his lap time. Let's see. The sector 1. Yep, he's improving by a tenth already through Sector 1. Let's see if he can keep on improving through Sector 2 and Sector 3. Double right-hander coming up. Don't run wide. He doesn't. Heartbreaking zone. Easy to lock up either the inside or the outside tire. And then once again, same sort of corner compared to the other right-hander. And then tricky exit. Easy to lose the car. Very long left-hander, easy to lose the car when the tyres are very worn towards the end of the race. One and a half tenths up on his previous lap, so he will be looking to get himself into the 107.3. So he will be looking to get a P6 minimum up towards the line. And it is P7 for Rock, or thousands of a second behind Jay Brand. Yeah, Ragvan, he did set a purple first sector. But um, I'm sure everyone's very, very close in that first sector. It's quite not really much of a first sector. It's one, one complex of corners. Um, yeah. yeah, we've got uh, Ramon and Marina both at the same sector one as well. Yeah, right. Okay. Max is on an improvement. Almost two tenths. Uh, it's not going to gain him a position as of yet. But let's see if he can improve even more for sector three. Yellow in sector 3 as well, that is, I think Max, who's run out of fuel. Max improves, time-wise, not position-wise. It stays P15 for the Mercedes driver. Sneaky Tom is on a hot lap, and he is a few hundreds up in the first sector. It's coming towards the end of the second sector. what it is he's 800 up the fist corner he ran he misses the apex and he did carry the speed but i think he may have lost a bit of time here he obviously still feels it's an improvement but he doesn't go to the shortest way no he doesn't it's not an improvement that final the corner in jung chow jun chow is uh caught him out in the end and he's going for another hot lap it looks like uh, Ketcher Silva has to do the same. He invalidated his previous lap, so he will be going again as well. A um, few people still in the pits. So we've got Ketcher Silva now starting a lap. Marina is starting a lap as well, so we will focus on Ketcher Silva first. After that, we switch to Marina. Let's see what Ketcher Silva is doing through sector one. Improving oh, by. Almost half a tenth, Max retired, but it's in the pits, so all good. Yeah. Marina, did he do an improvement? Yes, he did. So, both on an improvement through Sector 1. 
Spot moved himself up to P6. Good to see that as well. Looks like a solid sector 2 for Kecha Silva in the Ferrari. Only the left handed to negotiate towards the end of sector 2. Oh, but he lost time compared to his previous sector 2. So he did an amazing second sector on his previous lap. Marina, is he improving? No, he's not. So they both made a mistake. Kecha Silva up towards the line. Improving by half a tenth. And Marina. Is now coming out of the last turn. But he is definitely not going to improve. He will go be going again. So Marina still has some gas left in the tank. Healy is starting his hot lap as well. Now slowly starting. Now everyone is slowly starting to ooh, get their laps in. But Mar Healy already invalidates. So I think that is the end of Healy is qualifying. And he needs to be praying now that no one else is going to improve. Spot improves to P3. Marina with an invalidation already. Not Rapid improves to P3. Well done. Uh, not Rapid. Oh, Spots had a spin. Well, it's a drift, really. <laughs> Tokyo Drift insert. Um. Yeah, I think that's we've got check a flag now coming through. I've got so to anyone doing hot lap still not sure. Oh it's so busy in front of IMAX. Yeah. I think it though. all goes well, yeah, and he will get a lovely sit stream from Arena in front. No, he goes into the pits, that's a shame for IMAX, but he goes on towards the line. Oh and he needs the wall! He hits the wall on the inside and it is not giving him an improvement. So it's P11. Jay Prentice, Jay Prentice goes Paul. We missed that. He literally, I just went because I saw Jay Prentice was the last one. And he stomps it by a few hundreds. Jay Prentice is our pole position. So the invalidation for Healy turned out to be crucial for Jay Prentice to take pole position. Here comes Rek. And he improves to P8. What a lap by Jay Prentice. Completely off the radar. But really well done. Yeah, well. Jay, I don't think Jay Prentice... Uh, that must be his first pole position. I can't remember him taking yeah. pole position. Yeah, I think that's true. Brilliant job. Yeah. Great result. So, yeah, there we go then. We got a, a new guy at the front, and his name is Jay Prentice. Jay Prentice taking pole position for tonight's race. Healy P2, Raymond P3, Ketcher Silver P4, Not Rapper P5, Spot P6, Tom P7, Rock P8, Marina P9, The Wizard P10, IMAX P11, Camping Dogs P12, Dan P13, Austin P14, Saige P15, Max P16, Greg Anderson P17, Pipe Tech P18, and L Prentice P19. We've got the top 15 within a second. That's amazing. So now it will be interesting to see what the people outside the top 10 are choosing what side to start on. I reckon they will be starting on the medium. I'm surprised to see if there will be anyone starting on the hearts as 
They will be losing a lot of time through sector 2 where grip is so important. Of course everyone inside will then qualify on the soft so they will be starting on the softs as well. It's now waiting for the drivers to get the strategy right with the right amount of fuel in the car. We saw people last week struggling with the fuel as they anticipated of there being a safety car coming out and it actually turned out there was only a safety car towards the end of the race so they need to keep that in mind five more seconds before we start the formation lap there we go tires up on screen top 12 on softs we've got Pretty much everyone on softs, apart from Dan on the mediums, Max on the mediums, and Pipetech on the mediums. Interesting strategy choice. Yeah, very interesting. So a lot of people running on the softs. I'm really surprised about that. I would have thought more would have, especially at their back, towards the back, back of the field, you'd be on the medium tire. And isn't this interesting? You've got Jay Prentice in P1, and his brother dead last. <laughs> Yeah, you, got, I, I, you basically got a apprentice sandwich the whole field. Yeah, and normally <laughs> yeah, normally they're next to each other and now they can't be further away. But what I also want to notice is with Jay Prentice on pole position, we know and I am almost 100% sure he is running a low downfall setup again. Yeah, okay. How hard is it going to be for the people behind to overtake him? This is the thing, but the DRS is so strong around here. I, I, and the thing is, you, the downforce will mean the guys behind will get a better traction out of uh, Jung Chao, the final proper corner. So, even with the, the low downforce, if they're close enough, they'll, uh, they'll get the job done. But we'll find out. That's the beauty of this, uh, of the uh, of F1. You never know, or you, you do know when the race starts, but beforehand it's anticipation, strategy, who's going to pit early, who's going to try and do an undercut to gain a bit of an advantage before um, the second half of this race when they are on the medium tyre. We're getting ready. I want to get a good camera angle, but I can't get it. This is terrible. I'm sorry. Yes, now we have it. We got four, five red lights. And away we go for the Brazilian Grand Prix. It's a good start from Jay Prentice. It's a good start from Elias Hoy. He's going to go <clears throat> down the inside immediately. No, oh, he's not. He spins. Oh. He makes contact. And he's oh. round. And there is yeah. chaos already. Camping Ducks and Healy. Two Dutchies. And Imax as well. Alfa Romeo yeah. with a terrible terrible start of the race and oh, the Ramon already up into P2 yeah well, oh, oh a spot running wide. yep that is spot running wide oh we got a yellow in sector 2 the McLaren's gone way off track so I don't know what happened with him but what a start at 10 seconds for track no race. way how I don't know I don't know why he's going really slow around I don't get it I think he's just giving up basically he's running wide everywhere uh, but what a star for Jay Prentice. He's already gained a second clear. But Hilly, yeah, unfortunately getting caught out. And, uh, yeah, this has made it blown wide open. Catch of Silver down P4. Sneaky Tom P5. And now we head around to complete the first lap down the straight. It's Jay Prentice. Remon, not rapid. Cacho, Nigitom, Wizard, Austin P7. Currently, Austin made a great start, avoiding all that melee. He is now, he's made up like nearly seven places. Seven places gained. Yes, he has. He's gained seven places. Biggest winner, El Prentice, from 19th to 9th in one <laughs> He had a brilliant start. And to be honest, his brother is having a really good start as well. Already eight tenths clear of Remon. He's doing a really good job. Oh, there he is crack dropping down yeah. positions. Did he make a mistake? We've got four people into the pits. Rock Marina, Spa, and IMAX. 
Uh, Rak en Marina went on the medium, Spot and IMAX on the hards. Yeah, if I if I had to stop quite early on in the race, I would have chosen hearts any day of the week, just to safety. make sure that you could either go a very long way into the race or pit for mediums when a safety car comes out. So yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking because you know you can make the hearts last the medium you will definitely the guys who start on mediums will definitely have to pay again yeah and if they if there is a safety car they'll stay out won't they uh, but they won't gain any advantage from it because it's so far from the field they'll just all they'll be able to do is join the field but I'll use mediums camping well, dogs down the inside sort to interrupt and up into p12 he gets past max DRS to slap as well, so it'll be interesting to see. Remon does seem to have the pace here. That's a little bit deep. Will J Prince's straight line speed make the difference? I think that DRS is still going to be strong, unless Remon has a very high downforce. So we got a spinner, Alpatari, Rackban. Wrong way. Here we go. Yeah, look at J Prentice, he's pulling away. Masterfully, yeah. They, now the DRS is activated, but Jay Prentice has already pulled away quite a big gap. So I think I think I agree with you. It's also as fast as that. It might, we, we've got our oh Jay off oh, for a second. Oh, oh my god, it was just uh, it was just the internet. I thought Jay Prentice lost the back end there, but it was just you know the typical skipping, uh, lagging rather. Bro, yeah, Jay, that was mental. I, nah, what I'm seeing. The Net I'm s this is off topic by the way, but the Netherlands yeah. is playing as well. We yeah. uh, had to concede a penalty in the 90th minute, and we made and we made the winner in the 92nd minute. We're doing it again late time against Wales. It's insane. I don't I can't believe what I'm watching. <laughs> well, we're losing three nil to Hungary, so football sucks. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're gonna switch back to uh, F1 real quick. <laughs> Battle for the lead. Chip Rennes, oh, he got really, really excited on the tail there, but I don't think it's gonna cost him a position. Now, look at the straight line speed of Jay Prennes. Yeah. Ramon has DRS, but I. Yeah. If he. If, like, the DRS was a stuck, I would have believed as oh, well. Update is 4 0 now. No way. Yeah. players and oh look at this Jay Prentice and Remon Skepper side by side no that's the DRS for you Jay Prentice holding on just but the uh, thing is with that lower downforce you're gonna think oh Spud gets speeding penalty oh Spud is retired in the pits yeah retired in the pits he's given up not his right. race tonight yeah but Remon is uh, he's closer and I wonder with that lower downforce those softs are just paying the price more for it he's very swibbly oh Cacho Silva has a moment as well Remon is much closer this time and Remon I'm sure is using a lot of ERS yeah he's using a lot of ERS round the outside but can he make Prentice it stick now. yeah yeah Jay Prentice now is going to have the DRS back but I don't think he's going to be close enough. He just doesn't have the grip now. And Remon's going to use the ERS to stay ahead. Big DRS train now. Ooh, a spot is AI is out on track. Nothing to do with spot. He did it correctly. A DRS train forming now. All the way down to P7. El Pren has lost out, but he had an incredible start of this race. From 19th yeah. place on the grid, already up into P8. Unreal there from the boys. Uh, L Prentice P8, Psygate P9, Camping Ducks been out the top 10, and Dan is our leading medium runner currently in P11. Yeah, you can see J Prentice is just about holding on, but yeah, that car does not look set up right for Ooh. the race. It's, yeah, 
Yeah, it's Chase Winners. Yeah, he's outside of the DRS. That mistake turned out to be crucial, as I think he won't be getting DRS. Nope, and not rapid behind him will be getting DRS. Jay Prentice defends the inside, so not rapid has to go the long way around. Can he make it stick? No, he can't. Jay Prentice defends. Oh, and he shuts the door. Can not wrap it. Take it back on the second straight. I don't think he can, although the straight line speed with the ERS. Jay Prentice gets DRS, though, for this second straight. Oh, and here comes Catcher Silva around the outside. Can he make it stick? They're still oh side by side. Oh, this is so close. Yeah, he's going to back out. Oh, no. he, he, he runs wide. Oh, Rapid gave him the space. I think he felt just in case Silva was going to still dive bomb him. But it wouldn't have been right for Silva. Silva did the right thing backing out. But thankfully, Rapid, well, went wide for him anyway. So thank you very much. Now Silva is in the hot seat with this train and Remon is like please keep these guys behind please keep these guys behind second and a half now gap between the top two wow Kitcher Silva lost a lot of time with using that curb on the inside don't know why he used it and I think five tenths is a little bit too much for him to make a move for Jay Prentice maybe he's lining it up for the second DRS straight he's really close now two and a half tenths through the Senna S's and now, second DRS straight, opening it up, using the ERS as well. Chip Prentice once again defends the inside. Catch yourself, has to go the long way around. He tried it on not rapid on the previous lap. He's trying it once again, but Chip Prentice pushes him off track. And Catch yourself, has to remain in P3 as not rapid now is trying to join in this battle. Lovely, lovely DRS train. Um, and El Prentice, because of all this battling with his brother, is now slowly starting to catch up, but he picks up three seconds, and that is definitely going to cost him towards the end of the race. Yeah, absolutely. It's a shame, but uh, looking, yeah, this field is. Jay Prentice doing a great job. He's not far off pace wise. He's about, it's about half a second. Well, I'll say that. Yeah, it's about half a second. I think Remon must have made an error because Remon's three tenths uh, of a gap right there on that last corner so uh, but yeah he's able to stay ahead that that low down force jay prentice maybe he was driving a little bit tight initially being at the front you know he's not used to being at the front and that pressure um but now he's pace wise he's able to yeah okay, so good for him on, but he's able to do a very good job of keeping behind pacho silva Hatcher is under fueled at the moment. He's going to have to rely on a safety car to finish this race currently. Let's see, with the help of Tess, how much he's under fueled. Uh, it's by 0 0.13, so it's not too bad, but he needs to be careful. Then, as well, he's almost a lap down on fuel. Sygate two and a half laps down on fuel, so it's not looking good for Dan and Sygate. They are desperate. For a safety car to come out. Yeah, and I never get why you put yourself at that risk. Yeah, sure, the performance it's not massive, so it's not um, to be a couple of laps, like two laps under, maybe, yeah, but you're gonna have to need some serious safety car action. Uh, so here we go, here's a moment. Jay Prentice hasn't got much energy left, whilst Cacho's got 56. You see the red light flashing at the end of the straight. I'm sure Jay Prentice is going to be in the same, but yeah, Jay Prentice got less than 10% now. Here comes Catcher Silver around the outside. Can he make it stick this Done time it. round? Yes, he can. Lovely move by Catcher Silver. Really well done. He's now up into P2. Let's see if he can close the gap to Ramon in P1 because Ramon is cruising away at this stage of the race. Yeah, 2.3 seconds clear. Jay Prentice, can he stay within a one second window of Catcher Silva? It's seven tenths now, dropping down to six, dropping down to five. So I think he will be getting DRS on the next start finish rate, although he loses a lot of time through these left handers. And he dropped outside of the one second window. So sector three is not where Jay Prentice is gaining a lot of time. And in fact, I don't think he's going to get DRS on this lap. Unless he got it by a tiny margin. No, he didn't. But Jay Prentice, no, not rapid. Excuse me. Goes into the pits. First one. 
of the top 10 to go into the pits. Lap 11 out of 36 and he is going on to the medium tyre. He's unfortunately not been his race. The gap is coming down. Cacho has got the pace. The gap's 1.8, 1.9, 1.8 between the two. And already Cacho's created quite a big gap. Jay Prentice really, uh, yeah, holding up these guys. But with that ultra slippy car down the straight, it's like the Williams of old. The old 26, 2014 to 2016 rigs. <laughs> And they were just so quick down a straight. Again, he's it, got the gap. It, for me, it's weird to understand how a car can be that different with, during the race compared to qualifying. Sometimes setups do with a heavier fuel load just don't suit. Because obviously, we've got to remember uh, in quality, you can use the DRS. Here comes Sneaky so Tom. There we go. Oh, he's going to try and get through still down the inside. And he kind of squeezes out the Mercedes. And now he's going to have to defend. What I was going to say is, what you got to remember around here is, there's two DRS zones, and he already had a very slippy car, and when your tyres are brand new, you can get away with a lower downforce setup um, and still use the mechanical grip um, and make huge gains in Sector 1 and Sector 3 around here. So I think that's what it was, really. Um, in the race trim... Obviously, you don't use DRS, and it means the car's heavy. So with the lower downforce, it's going to wear your tyres. It's going to make the car slide, overheat the tyres. So I think that's what's happening with Jay Prentice. It's quite an aggressive strategy on setup, which works for quality. But yeah, he's seriously under pace here in the race. I think it all again. tries it to go around the outside once again, but I think he should just focus on lining it up for the second straight. Jay Prentice ran deep into turn one, which is compromising his exit for turn two. And I think Sneaky Tom should be able to get it done, although it's the Red Bull joining the fight as well. They're going to make it free wide. Sneaky Tom has the job done. Is the Wizard going to follow as well? Oh, now he has Austin on the inside. Wizard at the speed on the straight. Wizard... He's got it still, they're still side by side, kissing. Oh, the Red Bull's gonna make a move! Oh! That's not gonna yeah, work. Yeah, it was not going to work. Yeah. Jay Prenner shuts the door. Not Rapid loses out. Austin yeah. lost out as well to El Prentice. The brothers are helping each other. Yeah, that's unreal. El Prentice has had an awesome race so far. Granted, he's got three second penalties, but what a race El Prentice has had so far. Yeah, that Red Bull, I think the Red Bull felt like he had to make the move um, because Austin was next to him. And he, he almost got it done as we got someone pitting. Sneaky Tom is going for the undercut. And here, El Prendes and Austin. And El Prendes makes the move. Stick. No. He leaves the door open. Austin takes it. They're oh. still side by side. Oh, and he pushes so Austin almost onto the grass on the outside of turn three. Yeah, we have a, an Alpine went off there. Safety car. Yeah. Craig Anderson out of the race at Center S is. Now, if you're... If you're um, Sneaky Tom, you are not happy about this. Because everyone now is going to pit perfectly. So that's going to completely mess up Sneaky Tom here. Yeah, Sneaky Tom will be kicking himself for going into the pits on that last lap, but nothing to do about it. Can't predict the future. Yeah. And everyone else still on those shorts will be getting a free pit stop. IMAX went on to the intermediates. That's an interesting choice. <laughs> That's the first. Where are we going? It's a Remon and Catcher. I expect everyone to pit because it's perfect timing. And now, like you say, all those guys that pitted early on the mediums are, after their incidents 
are screwed, whilst the guys who did go on hards have now pitched on to fresh mediums. So Sneaky Tom, so Sneaky Tom is coming down the main straight, but he's obviously running to that. Was he gonna? Yeah, he's definitely gonna lose places here. It's going to be close. Oh, he's neck and neck with the uh, with Austin. Uh, he, Rackland, sorry. He, oh, he's all right. Yeah, he's he's been able to uh, not lose out too badly in the end. Still behind Jay Prentice. Yeah. So Ramon and Ketcher Silva are probably well. They have the best seat in the house with not rapid behind them on free lap or medium. So. It's not going to be a major difference as of yet, but towards the end of the race, it will definitely hurt not rapid having free lap all the tires. Yeah. Other than that, everyone behind is on fresh tires. We've got Dan on softs together with Max and Pipe Tech. Interesting, they were the ones going for the alternative strategy by starting on the mediums. So they ha sort of had to. And it will be very interesting to see if they can hold it out till the end of the race. Yeah, so we have got... Oh, looking at that. So in the end, Jay Brent has managed to take the place back from Sneaky Tom. Sneaky Tom, just, just get ahead. So Sneaky Tom has only lost one place from the people that pitted. So I expect we're probably going to do another lap, maybe. Yeah, not everyone posted in as IMAX, of course, had to fit again to change his set of intermediates. We will know it when he comes across the Sector 2 line. He can still come in. Which he doesn't. So yeah, another lap behind the safety car, which is good for the people on the softs. Because we're now almost halfway into this race. Two more laps. Oh, safety car in this lap. That's a amazing oh, very late. call. Oh my days, this is late. I, I don't I think Rem anyone predicted this. I'd have just gone. If I was Remon, I'd have been like, okay, no one expects this. Yeah. Safety car's in the pits. Go. Oh, he's there going he now. Really good restart. Oh, look at Sneaky Tom. He almost lost it by trying to overtake, not wrap it. He's going to do it. He's round. And Jay Prince has lost a lot of places. He's gone down to P14. Ooh, not oh, Rapid. He's got a terrible exit. And I think Austin is going to get past now as well. Round the outside. Can he make it stick? Yeah, he has it done before the breaking is Really well done by Austin. Not Rapid drops two positions. Disastrous. Restart for not Rapid. So Jay Prince must have had to pit again. He must have got wing damage. Hitting some of the back of someone. During the safety car period. Let me check with yeah, Tess. He's, he's, he, uh, he's got fresh tyres, so he must have had to pit again. We just didn't realise. Yeah, I don't see any damage now. So yeah, it could be that he fixed it. Yeah, he's definitely ahead of Sneaky Tom. Yeah, Sygate and Jay Pren is going side by side. Sygate stays in front. Yeah, for now. We have got a couple of guys on softs like Dan. Dan's gonna try and do what's he gonna try and do 20 laps in the softs? Come on, Yeah, it's going to be a stretch. I, I think it's possible. 
But those sorts, of, yeah, yeah, he's pr he's definitely he's praying for a safety car to come out. But if there's not a safety car coming out, oh, Healy camping dogs, Healy up into P8. But yeah, if if there's not a safety car coming out, he should be able to make it till the end. But those souls will be screaming. Here comes camping dogs once again with a move down the inside. No, things better of it. He remains in P9 for now. Ooh, Dan gets the job done on the wizard somehow. No solves are working now. Not rapid is the next one. Dan is loving life at this stage in the race. Yeah. It will come back to bite him. Unfortunately, softs not that great for very long. And look, they're very great for a short time. And look at the pace of Ramon. We we saw Catcher Silva closing in a lot when he got past Jay Penis. But now he, it looks like he's losing out. Although now he's back within that one second. But yeah, you can see it. Remo with the fast level of the race, 109.7. The arrest is enabled. And this is the golden opportunity for Dan to make a move on Not Rapid. Although Not Rapid will get the arrest from Austin in front. So it, it's not going to be that easy. As Camping Dogs picks up the second time penalty for the Senna's. Oh, look at Dan, look at Dan. Oh, yeah. I thought he was going to make a move, but he had to get off throttle for the double right-hander, which cost him time. Sneaky Tom is holding up the field. He's forming his own DRS train. Goes from P3 all the way down to P12. You love to see it. Absolutely. Sticky Tom defense, but it's not going to be enough. Austin with a move round the outside. Last time it was Remel with the fast lap. Now it's Ketcher Silva. It's not Ooh. rapid. It's going to follow as well. Now on the inside of Sneaky Tom. Can he, can he make it stick? No, they go side by side. Is Dan going to make a double move? You bet he is. Yeah. Here we go. It's DRS. He's going to dive it. He's going to dive it. Oh, he fought off it. It's a yellow in second two. It's a spinner. Oh, is that a Haas? I think, oh, oh, it's Dan. Dan's no, crashed. yeah, because he made contact with Tom. That's going to be a safety car, surely. Oh, yep. and Remon's, Remon's crashed. He's out. Remon's out as well. Both at the Remon, same place. Remon spun in the same place, rejoined and lost the back end again and hit the wall. So Remon is out as well. Which means Cacho, uh, Austin's now P2. Let's race to turn on his head again. What a sick lap. Lap 20. Mark it. Now. It's. I mean. You don't pit. Do you? you just stay out. Unless you're at the back of the field. I mean, it's still, it's not. It's too many laps to be out on the soft tyre. So I don't expect many people hit here. Take a gamble if you're towards the back. There is side gate pitting. Yeah, pipe tech of course. He he'll probably be going onto yeah. a fresh set of swords again. Ah, uh, side gate pits. Uh, side gate speeding penalty. Ah, that's a shame. Will it be a fresh set for pipe tech? It's going to be a fresh set of swords for side gate at least. And yeah, for pipe tech as well. Good choice. I would have done exactly the same. Interesting this. We lost yeah. two people inside the top six in one corner. And they didn't even make contact with each other. It was two separate incidents. Right, and on that note, let's have a drink of water. Yes, you need it's to stay hydrated drink. with these conditions. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, pretty much yeah, nothing changed 
with this Seitka coming out. The field is bunched up together once again. Uh, well, we lost our race leader, Ramon, who made a mistake at the beginning of Sector 2. Same corner where Dan and Tom made contact, which put Dan into the wall, which triggered this safety car. We've got IMAX now into the pits. Who was on 5 lap old mediums is now probably going to change to a fresh of salt. Not rapid. I don't understand why not rapid is still out on his 10 lap old mediums. If I was him I would have pitted for salts and just see where they end up. Because he will be losing a lot of time towards the end of the race. Because his tyres are 4 laps older which is not going to be pretty. Safety cars come in. This lap. In the lap, yeah. The Alfa Romeo at the back is going to catch up. Now we will resume. What is 14 laps to go? When is Kesha Silva gonna go? Raymond waited very long. He was almost on the start finish line when he restarted. Not rapid, had a terrible restart last time round, so he wants to improve on this one. Kesha Silva still weaving. And he's going now! And not rapid once again with a terrible restart. He pushes Tom out on track. No carnage as of yet. We've got the two Prentice brothers fighting it out. Oh, we've got Austin round at the Senna S. I don't know what happened. I think Sneaky Tom or not Rapid made contact with him. Jay Prince is standing inside a camping dust. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Massive crash. Marina and Sygate both out. Is that going to be another safety no, car? <laughs> camping ducks and who was it? El Prentice? <laughs> that was a weird oh sound my. coming out of my, my <laughs> mouth. But <laughs> there's so much happening, I can't believe it. Well, uh, yeah, I think that's. Yeah, Camming Ducks has obviously got wing damage. Yeah, it's completely gone. Yeah. Uh, almost completely gone, sorry. But yeah, that's. Uh, this is the thing with safety car restarts. The race before the first safety car was very, you know, very civilized. But people are so desperate to take advantage on those restarts. And that is what happens. And Cacho Silva now is a 1.4 second leader and not rapid. Sneaky Tom P3, Wizard P4, Hilly P5. Amazing recovery. Jay Prince is now Prentice 6th and 7th. There's only a third 12 left. Yeah, Still this is. To go. Yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> Don Amo says, Glad I'm an EU free steward. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's going to be a very long week for you, Don Amo. I'm sorry. Sneaky Tom was trying to make a move on not rapid. Couldn't quite make it stick as of yet. We have to wait for at least another lap. Ramon has left the session. We've got Camping Ducks retiring in the pits. He's had enough of this. Only 11 runners in this race. F1 is the best. 90-11. Hello. Good to see you for the first time. In this chat slash stream. Welcome. Not rapid, 1.8 seconds back, Keisha Silva, he's not having the pace of Keisha Silva, of course, also on full lap, all the tight, Sneaky Tom, a little bit tricky on exit, is the Wizard going to take advantage of it? I think he is, uh, Sneaky Tom won't be making a move on Not Rapid, DRS enabled from this lap onwards, so they will get DRS after the Senna S. Is someone able to make a move, Sneaky Tom closed in to the Alpine in front, is he going to make a move, ERS is enabled. But is it enough to make a move? I don't think it is. Not Rapid will be staying in P2 for, I would assume, another lap. Yeah. Read. Oof. And 
Reef, so 11 and a half to go. No Rapid somehow is P2 with the oldest tyres on in the field right now. DRS will be this time by, I believe. Yeah. Matty says, I've had a power co come back. We've gone from 17 to 11. <laughs> what has happened? Well, it was pretty much one lap which caused all of this. It was Ramon and Dan both crashing on the same corner without hitting each other. Uh, which triggered a safety car, which then triggered uh, Marina Saige camping ducks to retire. So, yeah, Steve chaos. Tom. He's done it. Stevie Tom's got past Rapid. Lovely move, and, but now he's going to be under pressure with the DRS. He's going to have to shut that door, and he doesn't shut the door. Don't do that. Oh, he's got it through. He's done it. Oh, my God, Rapid. That is some cojones, and Hilly's got past Wizard. But, yeah, Sneaky didn't shut the door properly. And the Rapid, fair play, is back in the P2, and Cacho Silva is just licking his lips right now. A three second gap. He is checked out so far. And it's going to be hard for anyone to catch him. He has had very good pace. Oh, and there's a move again. That's Jay Prentice now getting past the wizard. Great move catching him out. And we got a yellow. That's an alpha. Oh, it's a Ferrari? No, it's, yeah, we got an alpha. It's crashed. In the middle of the circuit. So we now got 10 runners. Runner, so as long as you stay on track, you score points. Simple as that. Yeah, Sneaky Tom's back into P2. Ah, Jay Prentice now gets the penalty. Oh, look at this. I, I, I don't know. Oh, not rapid. Sneaky's got no ERS. Oh, he's got, the, he's got it free again. This is great driving from not rapid. Oh, is Healy going to make a move down the inside? Oh, yes, he is, because Sneaky Tom leaves the door open. Yeah. Very passive there from Sneaky Tom. And Healy's like, well, thank you very much. I'll take my P3. Oh, and and here Jay comes Prentice. Prentice. We suddenly found grip again. Yeah, the car's lighter. The setup's working better for him. Very good point. I haven't thought of that. Yeah. Oh, although... Terror wags it, so he's definitely not going to make a move on Sneaky Tom this time round. Oh, he's got the slippy car. And he's got a lot of ERS. Sneaky Tom's got nothing. Oh, look at the wizard. Wow. Really close oh. to the back of Jay Prentice. And he's, he's in the Prentice sandwich. No overtakes. On yeah. this DRS straight. Boring race. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. I want to switch off now. Uh, I think it was because Not Rapid had a bit of a gap. Uh, he made the move on Sneaky Tom, so he just wasn't quite close enough. But I think this lap is going to be a little bit different as uh, all J. Prentice and the Wizards still trying to find a way through. Uh, this is luck. To be fair, fair play to Hilly as well, because he was last place after turn 1, because of yeah. the incident. He's now back up into P3, he's got P2 in front. I, I think Kejo Silva is going to win this race, if nothing weird happens. Uh, we don't know yet, because there's still a chance of a safety car. Here comes Hilly, by the way, with the DRS and the ERS. Should be able to get the job done. Yeah, yeah. before the braking zone, so Hilly up into P2. But yeah, Kejo Silva should be able to make it till the end of the race. Four seconds, he's extending the gap lap by lap. And here comes Not Rapid again. Don't leave the gap yeah. on the inside because he will take it. He has to go the long way around. Is he going to make it stick? Yes, he is. Not Rapid takes back P2. And this is giving Ketchum Silva more and more breathing space. This is the thing. These guys, I, I, I can see it. Not Rapid is just clicked onto the fact that, okay, yeah, I'll let you guys through down the straight. And then what I'll do, I won't use any ERS. And then I'll use it all. Coming out of center S's and re-overtake you. You 
got to, if these guys are smart, they got to not make the move on him in the first part. They need to make the move on him in the, after the center S's. Um, or, if you're going to make the move on him, don't make the move on him into turn one. Don't make the move down the straight. Because you want to kind of make the move where you've put him offline and then he can't get a good run out to the center S's. So he's, he's too early. He's making the move using a lot of ERS. So not rapid can take his normal race line now. Oh, Jay Prentice runs. Oh, no, it's not. It's just hanging again. Not, it's caught me again. He's got a bit better run, but not rapid. It's got a lot of straight line speed, and Hilly is having to use up all his energy. Well, it's not rapid, still got plenty of energy now. Hilly's not going to have the power. So if rapid can stay with Hilly, he's going to be a sitting duck. Coming down the straight. Oh, Wizards doing a dive bomb on Jay Prentice. Absolute dive bomb. Side by side. Thing. Oh, Jay Prentice is fun. And El Prentice gets caught out. Yeah, it's a shame for Jay Prentice. They were ghosting, I agree. It yeah. Was, it was on my camera. It was weird because he was lagging as well on the previous lap. So, some yeah. connection oh. issues there. Giddy runs wide and Jun Chao. Jun Chao, rather. It's not Chinese. And uh, not rapid's gonna have a, a line up here. Obviously, Hilly using all his energy, and not rapid's just gonna line him up here in the center S's. Yeah, I think not rapid's gonna make the move back here. He's got so much more energy. Hilly is using up everything here. And here we go. Oh, Hilly's gonna try and keep it, but he's not gonna. And this is what happens when you use up all your energy around here. You can't... Oh, we make contact! Massive impact! Oh! I was on board with Not Rapid, so I couldn't quite see. But I don't know who was at fault then. As we got a safety car. Oh! Lap 31, Catcher Silver is going to be hating this. What do you do? If you're the leader... You well, you stay. can... Out. You can easily pit for assaults. Yeah, but... Oh, it's a tricky one. Because what if the people ahead don't? I would pit. The people behind. Right, yeah, he goes to the pits. Smart play. I would have done exactly the same thing. But there's going to be a few people that don't. Well, depends. Who is they it? will follow suit. Sneaky Tom, don't pick up oh, speeding. Oh, Pipetech doesn't. Because he's on softs already. Oh, Pipetech. He's gambling on it. What a hero. He's in the lead now. <laughs> and Austin also stays out on 16 lap mediums. He's doing exactly the same thing like last week. He stayed out as well last week around Japan. Yeah. So, Kacho Silva has... This is the other thing though, you got to remember. There's two laps before you can use CRS. So we're going to do one lap now. We're going to do another lap. We're probably going to restart at the beginning of... 34. So they will get TRS on the last... We, we uh, struggled with this last week as well. Because you, you won't, because lap 35 will be... You'll, lap, you'll only get DRS after the center S's. And, and obviously coming towards the line at the very end of the race. You, yeah, you will get the last lap with DRS, but it's not... As we know, DRS on the main straight is quite late. So you have to be right with that driver. Yeah, we've got Devstorm, which says DRS last lap. That's if we do restart lap 34, which I reckon we will. I think we'll restart on lap 33, to be honest. I th well, as in... Uh, like be, he got, he will, he will, will, I think he will be coming in next lap. So the start of yeah. lap 34 is green flag condition. It's another three lap race restart, like it was last weekend. Uh, yeah. Last week's the catcher who's got to try and get past in three laps with a, a massive retire advantage. But it's tricky. Problem is, these guys, when you give up track position, they're not going to give it up lightly. And you do run the risk if he had stayed out yes okay the guys behind have got really quick softs 
but you'd have two cars with a buffer, and he's quicker than no boat, so he could have been able to avoid the drama, because there's only three laps to go. I, if I, I was to, it. yeah, if I was the wizard, I would do everything I can to get past Ketcher Silva on the yeah. safety car restart, because then you're in the prime position of taking victory in this race. Yeah, this is horrible for Ketcher Silva, because he's in control. Yeah. Yeah, I said it as well, if there's not a safety car coming out, but guess what, it's AU3, it's pretty much a guaranteed late safety car. Safety car should be coming in this lap, nonetheless, even though Max hasn't completely caught up yet. But We've seen it before, the safety car doesn't care. And Pipe Tech is gone. Yeah. And Austin is also keeping P2. Fair enough. I thought he had a really bad restart. The gap between him and Pipe Tech was huge at the beginning, but everyone else was lacking as well. But here comes Ketcher Silva with the grip coming out of the Senna S. Down the inside. Can he make it stick? Yes, he nice. will. So that's Ketcher Silva already up into P2. Yeah, Austin did. Hard at all, which I'm very surprised about. I would have thought, with no penalties, I'd have been desperate to keep these guys behind as much as possible. Those mediums, 18 laps now, have just no grip. Oh, the Red Bull having a look. And now you've got Pipe Tech on 12 lap old softs. Oh, the wizard. Oh, I thought he was going to make a move down the inside. Yeah, Austin kept it tight. He saw what was coming. It's very stressful times for the guys on those cricket tyres. They want to get through and Wizard with such better run already. We go two to go. Oh, Wizard's going down the inside here. Oh, Austin gets three seconds. That's going to really hammer oh, him. Oh, and he's well. losing two positions, I guess. Or not. The wizard got past. Is Sneaky Tom gonna get past as well with a move down the inside? Yes, he is. Oh, they make contact. But Sneaky tick. Tom gets past. Oh, Prentice gets past as well. Austin losing positions left, right, and center now. Look at this, though. Pipe Tech holding on for now. We're going into the final lap, and obviously, there's no DRS down the main straight, so it's purely using the ERS. It's going to be, if Catcher Silver's going to do this, it's going to be the last lap. Oh, we have the yellow oh, to go to. Jay Prentice, no. The ah, ball Jay. sitter. Oh, Pipe Tech runs really wide. And that's going to gift it to, to Silver. And look at this, the Wizard's right with him as well. This race isn't over yet. The Wizard is caught right up with Silver. And look, he's using up all the energy. And he's going to have TRS for the final center S. Is the and Wizard is, going to take victory? He's With the no next DRS tray coming up, yeah, that's the point. He's got no energy. Look at Sticky Tom as well, I think he's going to take the last podium spot in this race. Pipe Tech low on the ERS. Sticky Tom with a move down the inside, Pipe Tech. He opens the door. Done it. Yeah, Sticky Tom has it done. Yeah, they, they all have no energy now. Catcher Silver used all his energy up. So if Wizard can stay up here, this is pressure. I think Silver's going to just about do it. Just because I know the DRS is not long enough. Is yeah, Elpren is going to make a move on Pipe Tech? Let's quickly have a look at that battle as well. Oh, Elpren is so close. He's pushing Pipe Tech through the corner. Down the inside, and he gets the job done for P4. Yeah. But we have to focus on the battle for the lead. Yeah. As Ketcher Silva fully deserved, in my opinion, will take victory here in Brazil with the Wizard P2, Sneaky Tom P3, 
El Prentice will throw position because of the penalty. Pipe Tech P4, El Prentice P5, Austin P6, Healy P7, Max P8, and Max P. A little bit too quick there. I think it was Healy. Or did I mention him already? Ah, I don't mind. Here we have the podium. Kesha Silva deserved victory here, taking P1 in this race with the Wizard in P2 and Sneaky Tom P3, two Dutchies joining him on the podium. Going now towards the final results of this race with only nine people finishing this race I wanted to say but it's eight people finishing this race no Jay Prentice did finish though I thought he retired fair enough Kedja Silva take a victory in this race the Wizard P2 Sneaky Tom P3 Pipe Tech P4 El Prentice P5 Austin P6 Healy P7 Max P8 Jay Prentice P9 not Rapid P10 but I don't think he will be scoring a point IMAX P11 Capping Nox P12 Saiga P13 Marina P14 Ramon P15 Dan P16 Rock P17 Greg P18 and Spot P19. But oh my days, what a race we've seen. Wow. What a race. Did it really turned in the end? Yeah. Invited the podium guys to the commentary box. So let's hear from them and their opinion on this race. As the wizard is already joining, waiting for Kesha Silva and Sneaky Tom to do the same. Are we have Sneaky Tom? I don't know if Kesha Silva is joining, but sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. We can start off with Sneaky Tom as he finished P3 in this race. First of all, congratulations on taking a podium in this race. Um, let's first go to, well, sort of midway through this race where you had the incident with Dan. Give us your opinion on it because we saw it on stream. Well, what exactly happened between you and Dan? Oh, um, well, it happened so quickly, so I really don't know um, how it happened or what exactly happened uh, i only know like i um went to the back of rapid in front of me and then uh, uh braked a little bit and yeah i don't know i went a little bit to the outside of the corner and then i think he touched me somewhere there and then spun so i don't know if i'm a fault or he's at fault or it's a racing incident but i have to look it back but i'm i'm, I'm good for him uh, for sure but yeah Fair enough. Um, how hard is it to keep your head cool in these kind of conditions where just it's chaos all over the place? How hard was it to keep your concentration? <laughs> well, it was really crazy to uh, maintain the positions I was in, but yeah, everything was happening around me and also with myself, with battles with Rapid uh, especially, and um, then Hilly getting caught up in a not, yeah, not, not a nice incident there, so fortunate for him, but um yeah in the end it gave me a, a podium um which yeah it's uh it was a hard race but enjoyed it as well so yeah fair enough you made a really good move so for the podium at the end of the day so uh, yeah congratulations on the p3 go enjoy it yeah thanks and going to p2 the wizard first of all congratulations on taking p2 in this race you were really close to taking victory in this race uh was there a point going through your mind where you thought, oh yeah, I can actually get it, or because of the low ERS as well, it was like, no, nah, I take P2. Yeah, first of all, thank you. Uh, it was a, it was a really crazy race. I also had an incident where uh, Jay Prentice in front of me, uh, he ghosted, and then I tried to pass him, and then uh, apparently he spun. So I have to rewatch that one. Uh, and the last, the last uh, few laps were just crazy, trying to pass these medium runners. 
And I thought I had no chance to catch Kacha Silva, but then I saw he was very low on ERS. So I thought maybe I have a chance, but then uh, in the middle sector and the last sector, he pulled away just too far. And I also had zero ERS to play with, so it was a it was done deal at that point, unfortunately. Yeah, but uh, a crazy race. Um, at the beginning of this race, did you think about getting a podium, or was it a big oh, surprise? No. No, <laughs> no, definitely not. I was. I'm not really that uh, great this season, so I thought I was aiming for like a top seven, top six, and then with everyone just uh, retiring, I thought like, okay, maybe something. <laughs> is going to be possible and then uh, I was feeling great this race so I'm really happy with the P2 I understand yeah you just need these races throughout the season so uh, yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> fully deserved may go enjoy your P2 thank you I will and get yourself I join us as well so we will be asking him some questions first of all so uh, congratulations on taking the victory in this race it was quite a confident race until that very last safety car what was going through your mind were you Shitting yourself, or you're like, okay, no, I still got this. What was going on? Uh, in the end, uh, when when the safety car came out, first of all, congratulations to the wizard and uh, Sneaky Tom on the podium. Um, when the safety car came out, I got a bit worried. I didn't know what to s if I stopped. If I didn't stop, I ended up by stopping. It was a good call because everyone, almost everyone behind, stopped as well. But uh, in those last three laps, my heart was racing. Uh, the, the pressure was on from the wizard at the end. I knew we didn't have much ERS too, so I was just burning, burning, burning ERS to get to the line. Yeah, how hard was it to uh, overtake Pipe Tech and Austin in front? Because they didn't stop, they were on all sorts and mediums. Were, was it a struggle to get past, or was it quite comfortable with the amount of grip you had on those fresh shots? It was quite um, an easy pass on Austin, he, he lost the car a bit on the first few corners after the safety car restart, so I got him straight away. But uh, Pipe Tech, it was not that easy, he still had softs and I was lucky in a way that he missed the apex on, uh, on the pen penultimate lap, but uh, that was a bit bad too because I lost the DRS that, w that I was expecting to have on the next lap. Yeah, yeah, we saw that. But at the end, uh, you took victory, and uh, in my opinion, I said on the stream as well, fully deserved. So go enjoy it, mate. Congratulations on P1. Thank you. And with that, it rounds off the interviews and the stream for tonight. Thank you all for tuning in. Congratulations once again on the podium runners. And thank you, Louis, for tuning in. With me. It was a pleasure as always. Yeah, brilliant race today, uh, and great commentators always with you, mate, and uh, congratulations to the top three. Very stressful in the end, but well deserved, and uh, we're back from, is it Mexico next week, I believe? Yep, Mexico. Mexico! I won't be here, unfortunately, uh, uh, but uh, I wish you all the best for that, uh, guys, and I'll see you in a fortnight for what probably will be the final race of the season. Yep, final race, United States, in two weeks' time, but before that... Mexico so we stay on the left hand side of the world if you want to see more action on Brazil first then make sure you tune in for AU2 and AU1 on the Wednesday and on the Thursday and AM2 and AM1 um, yeah we will be back next week with Mexico without Lewis but with me so it should be a good one um, as I always say have a good one stay safe and goodbye